Welcome to IELTS speaking test. Please, please sit down. Take your seat. So, uh, you are going broad, isn't it? Okay. You are going for, for education or for a job? Education, sir. Okay. Are you going to take uh, your examination general or academic? Academic, sir. Okay. Fine. As you know about the IELTS, you have part 1, part 2 and part 3. So, part 1 will be generally asking you general questions. Part 2, a topic would be given. And you have to speak for two minutes on this topic and part three is a discussion oriented questions where the candidate has to hands right sir so totally you'll be having around 15 13 to 14 minutes of question answering session so the part one deals uh, about the first introduction and the candidate tells about himself herself or about the job about the profession about his hometown so now coming here to the question uh, for example, newspapers and magazines, newspapers and magazines. Which magazines and newspapers do you read? I probably daily I read a newspaper like a, our regional uh, newspaper, uh, the Hindu and the the Chronicle. Yeah, uh, the most of uh, Hindu magazines they are uh, produce their uh, good news. Which is very helpful for our to know that uh, local uh, uh, changes, and uh, and the other thing, it is very easy to uh, uh, observe the easy to know the real situation what we uh, surrender, and uh, it gives me a lot of knowledge. Uh, uh, they may use the lot of most precious uh, vocabularies, different vocabularies to learn more about the foreign language what kind of articles are you most interested in and why um, articles means uh, i preferably go to my regional language article which is uh, kunguma um, they give me a lot of gossips and uh, they give me a lot of uh, sports related uh, things which is because i'm uh, very interested in uh, sports um, that's it sir do you think uh, learning reading by reading a newspaper in a foreign language you can develop the foreign language do you think reading a newspaper or magazine in a foreign language is good way to learn a language you got the question do you think by reading a newspaper or magazine in a foreign language you can master that language um. I'm not uh, ever uh, frequently read uh, the foreign uh, magazines. I'm somehow I read uh, in the past um, that is name called uh, the, it's a novel, uh, the Harry Potter. Um, it is very interested uh, because I like novels. Uh, it it is very to know. Uh, it, it is it just induces my creativeness and uh, uh, it's very. It helps to know about the somehow the what are the steps to about the creativeness. That's it. We have come here to the part two. A topic would be given to you. You have to speak for one to one and a half minute continuously. Right? You can take notes. You will be given one minute to prepare on the topic. The topic is describe the restaurant you had enjoyed the most. Describe the restaurant that you enjoyed going to. You should say where the restaurant was, why you choose this restaurant, what type of food you ate in this restaurant and explain why you enjoyed eating in that restaurant. Right? About the restaurant, tell about the restaurant which you like the most, why do you go to the restaurant, what type of food are served over there now start um, in a restaurant I would uh, I just uh, preferred uh, there is a Park Avenue restaurant uh, which is located in Anangumbakum uh, it is a great uh, pleasure uh, uh, environment in that uh, on that restaurant because uh, I like a uh, uh, buffet system to have a uh, food which is it's give me a lot of variety throughout my uh, uh, site. It's give me a lot of choice to have 
some other like uh, not not even a uh, food what i ordered so i preferably buffet buffet restaurant is more uh, i likely to have that kind of restaurant well good kevin we have come here to the part 3 in part 3 the questions will be based on part 2 the topic is restaurant isn't it based on that part 3 discussion questions between the examiner and the candidate so now coming here to the question why do you think people go to restaurant when they want to celebrate something right people whenever they want to celebrate something they go to a hotel whether you pass an examination you got a job you marry marriage is fixed then your friends come and ask you come on give me a treat and why do people go to hotel for that to celebrate something yeah obviously sir because uh, in ancient times uh, whenever the we celebrate uh, uh, any festivals or any functions uh, we shared about f- uh, happiness through that uh, to uh, have a food uh, to give a feast uh, nowadays the younger generation they doesn't want to cook uh, on that specific times they want to spend a lot of times to with friends and going around there that's why they are not uh, have the time to prepare for uh, anything on the day specifically um so that's why the people are most uh, enjoy to most eager to go in restaurants on the specific days to celebrate it that's the thing i want i to explain the next question is which are more popular in your country fast food restaurants or traditional f- traditional restaurants so which are more popular in your country is it fast food restaurants or traditional restaurants right mcdonald's and what not a lot of restaurants have come isn't it so which restaurant what type of restaurants are famous is it uh, the traditional ones like saravana bhavan um uh, nowadays uh, the fast food is uh, most growing uh, uh, part in the in our society because uh, it's everybody is like to have a foreign language other than we other than the ancient items uh, because uh, it's uh, for like uh, fast foods they give me a lot of varieties to taste apart from that what which we have uh, already uh, tasted it it's it's give me a diverse taste and uh, it's give me a lot of variety and um, it's uh, uh, it's very easy to cook uh, everywhere it's very uh, easy for that uh, it give it helps to reduce the time saving also because uh, the traditional foods also we want to prepare na no? we we will uh, we have a lot of time to prepare it uh, for example uh, we need to cook uh, biryani uh, it we have to spend a lot of uh, time to prepare it because uh, it will take 4 uh, to 6 hours or so we want to prepare a biryani for uh, for fast foods that's not take uh, that much of time to prepare it and it give me a much tastier than the uh, uh, other traditional foods that's i thought because it is it gives a good taste to others it's somehow they they are uh, um, grab the other people's nowadays to be on the taste ah uh, thank you kevin kevin could you tell me why some people say food in a expensive hotel food in an expensive hotel is always better than food in a cheap restaurant you mean to say you understand what i say you go to a restaurant where it's costly the food is costly and you think it is uh, uh, the quality of food is good there are certain restaurants where the price of food is less and you think the quality of food is low uh, would you agree with this point of view do you agree with this point of view yes obviously uh, i agree with that sir because uh, uh, in my sight uh, the costliest food which which is served in a hygienic manner uh, they are provided a uh, good certified uh, uh, for preparation and that in a hygienic manner uh, they are giving a uh, good assurance and a uh, lot of reviews uh, to have uh, that kind of foods which we know to 
what kind of food is there there are what where it is prepared and uh, there uh, they bought a specific license regarding a uh, prevention the um, regarding a uh, um, cleanliness to prepare it and uh, and it is lack of uh, all that in a uh, cheapest re- restaurant because it induces our fear uh, about it is not properly cleanliness or uh, it's not uh, prepared like an uh, hygienic method it's we are afraid or afraid of to have uh, and the cheapest restaurant i i would like to prefer a uh, um, good hygienic restaurant in a in a high range now uh, regarding something about the restaurant and producing the food do you think there will be a greater choice of food availability is in shops in the future do you think there will be a greater choice of food available in shops in the future or will there be less choice what do you mean by that mm, you go to a hotel there are not much of variety of food uh, but do you think in future the varieties of food may increase yeah obviously it is a good choice for a uh, uh foods in uh, in the future uh, because a lot of a uh, uh, lot of uh, people uh, they are making uh, their foods in uh, in uh, in our metro city uh, they want to serve foods because when uh, we'll take for example we take a uh, in our city uh, there is a lot of hotels present uh, in the uh, main area uh, when compared to the past so that i prefer i just uh, agree with that uh, there is a lot of food availability in the future thank you kevin could you tell me what affects the modern technology had on the way of the food is produced see modern technology what is modern technology sir nowadays we have certain machines where thousands of chapatis can be made in 3 minutes 2 minutes or 1 minute right so machines have come idli dosas chapatis puris so this what affects as modern technology had on the way food is produced yeah it gives a uh, great efforts uh, because uh, uh, it gives a lot of pro- food production productivity uh, it, it gives uh, more uh, time more spend uh, more time and uh, uh, it helps to reduce the manpower and in at a, at a quick time we have to provide a uh, produce a lot of food uh, uh, in the in our society and it's and both of uh, clean both hygienic and uh, uh, good preparation packing system it helps the modern technology to next question how important is it for the country to be able to grow all the food it needs how important is it for a country to grow all its food it needs not going for import not going for import so how important is it for a country to be able to grow its own products or food products without importing any from foreign countries without importing any from foreign countries right sir um because uh um sorry um it is very important uh, to grow up our uh, foods b- b- apart from uh, import our resources because uh, uh, if we if we can't able to produce our uh, food needs in our own country we, we we unnecessarily we pay we paid a lot of uh, money to import the other foreign uh, foods it also induces the uh, uh, food high rate uh, it's very it's become very uh, expensive um i think uh, we must able to grow our uh, foods uh, in our own because it it uh, it it helps to depend uh, it helps to reduce our uh, dependency to other uh, from other countries that's why i'm i'm most insisted to uh, to able to grow our fruits in our own that's it thank you me kevin 
Nice, wonderful to meet you. Thank you very much. Take a seat. All the best.